Hi, I'm Brad, and for my simple build today, I'm going to show you how I built this table for behind my sectional. Alright, this table is a very simple build. It's basically just a 9 foot shelf, plus some legs to give it stability. We're going to add in some power strips and cup holders to make it more usable. One little trick I've got is because my vacuum is on the other side of the room and I don't have a switch to turn it on, I've programmed it in so that I can do it by voice. Alexa, clean up. So all of our boards are sanded and now it's time to go ahead and get holes cut for cup holders and electrical outlet. I have a two piece cup holder that I ordered off of Amazon that's going to go in there to kind of spread out. Uh, now they don't have to necessarily have to use the cup holders but this just helps because my dogs like to lay up on the top ledge and this will help keep them from knocking stuff over. And then we've got a power outlet that we're installing that's got two USB ports and two regular power ports. Uh, they're going to install in the center of the top shelf and then we're going to, do, going to install one on the far left side of the cabinet as well so that my wife can plug in her laptop. One of the best things about woodworking is even when you make mistakes, they can be fixed. So in this particular example, the tolerance on the side of these outlets is just very minimal. And I shaved off just a little bit too much wood. So we're going to fix that by filling it in with a little wood compound. Our boards are all sanded and prepped for stain, but before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and put in pocket holes using our Craig Jr. pocket hole tool. Now, it's pretty easy to use, uh, basically just set to the thickness of the wood. Um, same thing on the, on the drill bit, if you set the collar, there's a little gauge inside the box that lets you set that up. Um, 
these are only like $39 or something like that. Uh, pretty good little tool. Um, you really should use a clamp to hold these down to keep them from jogging. Um, but I don't have one, so I'm just going to use pressure. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get this thing stained up and ready for assembly. I'm using this Minwax finish. It's an uh, ebony color and uh, that's mainly because most of our furniture in the living room is black and I'm just going to go ahead and blend in with what we've got in the in the room. So make sure you've got gloves. Um, I'm using a brush to, to put the finish on and then my rags to wipe it back off after I let it sit and dry. So we'll go ahead and get that taken care of and uh, see how this turns out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let that sit on there for a little bit because I wanted to get a nice dark finish, but still maintain that wood. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next big piece and we'll come back and wipe this down in here in just a few minutes. All right, so we've let this sit for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the stain and see if it's dark enough yet. Um, if necessary, just come back and put another second coat on if it's not the darkness that you want. We're wiping down the stain. You wanna go with the grain uh, while at the same time just rubbing it in um, a little bit as well, not just wiping it off. So that's a pretty good color on that. I am going to go ahead and put another coat on this just because I want it a little bit darker. But what you don't want to happen is to let the, the stain just pool on it and harden that way because you know they have some unevenness in your uh, in your staining. So. We're going to go ahead and uh, restain that and uh, just get it a little bit darker, but I think it's going to turn, turn out pretty good. I, I like the color that it is, but it, like I said before, our furniture is black, so we want it to be a lot closer to that, uh, that dark finish. So we'll go ahead and do that. and. Uh To finish assembling the shelf, I used the pocket holes that were previously drilled as well as the braces that we had cut with 45 degree angles. I applied a couple coats of Minwax Polycrylic to finish it off. This shelf is a great addition for our living room. It provides outlets and drink holders when sitting at the couch. If you like this build, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe so you can be notified for future builds. Thanks for watching today's simple build.